CompTIA ITF plus Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.2 Compare and Contrast Fundamental Data Types and Their Characteristics. Boolean. Boolean is a special numeric data type that indicates if a condition is true or false. The Boolean value is stored using a single binary digit of either a 0 or 1. So keep on the lookout for the words true and false or any scenario where only two options exist. These are great signifiers that you are working with the Boolean data type. With the Boolean data type, we will be focused primarily on logical operations. Using the AND, OR, and NOT operations, we are able to combine and manipulate conditional statements to derive a true or false output. Let's take a look at each of these logic operations now. First up we have the logical AND operator. The AND operator returns true if both inputs are true. And returns false otherwise. Let's try an example and compare the inputs to the AND operator table to find the appropriate output. The first conditional statement will be, my shirt is pink. Well, that is a true statement, so we will use true for input A. The second conditional statement will be, my eyes are brown. Well, that is also a true statement, so we will use true for input B. Using the an operator table, we can now see our resulting Boolean value for this example would be true. Now for the logical OR operator. The OR operator returns true if any input is true. And returns false. Only when both inputs are false. Let's try an example and compare the inputs to the OR operator table to find the appropriate output. The first conditional statement will be, my shirt is pink. Well, that is a true statement, so we will use true for input A. The second conditional statement will be, my hair is blue. Well, that is a false statement, so we will use false for input B. Using the OR operator table, we can now see our resulting Boolean value for this example would be true. As at least one of our inputs evaluated to true. Finally, the logical NOT operator. The NOT operator returns true if the input is false. And false if the input is true. There are other logical operators, but these will serve as a great foundation for now. Now that we have discussed some of the more common logical operators, where might we find these in use? I got the perfect example. Every day we find ourselves using a search engine to locate a resource on the internet. Well why not use these logical operators to improve our searches and link search conditions together? For my example, I will use the Google search engine. By using logical operators in your search, you will effectively be performing an advanced Google search. I am going to start with the AND operator. My example search will have a searching for a resource that contains the word CompTIA and the word ITF+. By using the AND operator between these two words, Google will return results containing both words. My next search will utilize the OR operator. This example will search for the word CompTIA or the word ITF+. By using the OR operator between these two words, Google will return results containing at least one search word or the other but will not require both words to be present in the resource. Additionally, to exclude a specific word from a search result, just place a subtraction symbol or minus sign in front of the word. Then any resource containing that word will be omitted from your results. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.